Ivy KPM. Dede TV KPM. Wow, look at that. So many people on Joy Street. Ah, this is a beautiful place. I need to take a picture. Wow, look at that building. That's lovely. Um, excuse me, sir. Yeah, yes. Can I take a picture? Oh, sure. Um, I mean of the building oh. behind you. Oh my goodness, so sorry. <laughs> sure, sure, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, that's a very yes. ancient and beautiful building. I is this your first time here, by the way? Yes, it's my first time. Okay, how do you like this? It's a lovely city. There are so many places to visit. All right, well, have a good day exploring the city now. See Thank you. Thank you. You too. Have a nice day. Hi everyone, welcome to Tahab Dua. You're watching on DDA TV KPM. My name is Chris, it's nice to meet you. And today we are learning Bahasa English together on the topic of exploring cities. And today I have Miss Ching with me for today's class. Hi teacher, how are you? Hi Chris, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very good. Now teacher, correct me if I'm wrong, but you have brought some classmates for me today. Is that correct? Yes, can I introduce them to you? Yes, please, teacher. I have four very, very wonderful pupils here with me today. All Let right. me introduce the first Let, one. Let's say we hi. Have... Hi, everyone. Hi. Okay, let me first introduce on the top left. Okay, that's Nur Harisha Raihana Binti Harith Daniel. Harisha is a very, very creative girl. She loves to sing and dance. Oh, wow. Hi, Harisha. Nice to meet you. And on the top right, we have Lucas Haintura Jo. He is a very um, explorative boy. He loves to learn about science, about nature, and about animals. Wow. And Hi, Lucas. The, nice to meet you. Yes. And on the bottom left, we have Leila Yasmin Binti Kairul Saleh. Leila loves to read. You can see her holding a book almost any time of the day. <laughs> That's Leila. Nice to meet you, Leila. And on the bottom right, we have um, Amni Nur Shahada binti Ahmad Taufik Wafi. Amni may look a bit shy and quiet, but she's always willing to try and to give her best. Wow. Yeah, well, so we have four very different pupils, yes. but wonderful. Yes, I'm so excited and so nice to meet all of you. I have new friends today. Nice to meet you. Now, teacher, what are we going to do today with today's topic, Exploring Cities? Good question, Chris. So our topic is exploring cities. Now, I want to ask my pupils, do you know what is a city Ooh. in the first place? Ah, based on what you have seen earlier, me coming into a city, what is a city to you? Anyone has an answer? Yes, Amni, you raise the hand. City is a big area in a state and there are many interesting places to visit. Okay, that's a good answer. So Amni thinks a city is a big place and there are many places to visit. Anyone else want to give a guess what is a city? Lucas. I think a city is a place with more human population. Okay, good answer. So a city is probably a bigger place, more people live in it and perhaps more businesses, more buildings, right? Okay, so good answer. People also like to travel in the city. So what is the difference between a city and a town? Anyone? What is a town like? No one? So a town is probably smaller than a city, mm. right? It's like a city, but probably less people okay. and less buildings maybe. Okay. Okay, so speaking of buildings, we talked about some places in the city earlier. Okay, we have mentioned, um, I mentioned the street and I mentioned a building. But can I know what are some specific places in a city that you know of? Places that you might have seen, you might know. Anyone wants to give it a go? Okay, Lucas, tell me some places. 
Um, museums. Okay, museums. Yes, there are museums in the city. Amni. There are restaurant and shopping complex. Restaurants and shopping complex. Amazing. Next, um, Leila. How about you? Um, how about libraries and schools? Libraries and schools. Okay, wow. your favorite place. And Harisha, <laughs> give me some examples that you can think of. There are banks and bridges. Sometimes banks and bridges. bridges. In a city, like in my place in Putrajaya, there are five best bridges to visit. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes, in Putrajaya, <laughs> there are five beautiful bridges. All of them are actually from SK Putrajaya Piscine 81. Okay. So they know the place well. Okay, let me give you some examples of places in a city. So we have office buildings. Some of your parents may work there. We also have shopping complex mentioned by Amni. We have bridges as Harisha has mentioned. This bridge is actually in Putrajaya. And we also have a square. So a square is actually an open public space where people can gather. They have ca uh, community gatherings or events. So mm. they can gather at the square. We also have monuments. Some cities have monuments. So a monument can be a sculpture or a building that is built to remember someone in history, an event or a person in history. So we call that a monument. Do you know what this is? What is this, Harisha? Do you know this monument? Have you seen it before? You can actually unmute yes. to answer. Yes, you have seen this before? Yes. Yes, it's in Kuala Lumpur. So for some of you who may not have seen this before, we call it the Tugu Negara. Mm. Okay, and we also have airports in the city, right? And okay, that's all. So today, we are going to look at two different learning standards. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. The first learning standard is 2.2.1 to keep interaction going in short exchanges by asking suitable questions. And the final learning standard is to describe people, places and objects using suitable statements. So today you will have a speaking activity, you will also have a writing activity. Let's look at our lesson objectives for today. So by the end of this lesson, we should, we should be able to ask and answer at least four questions to find out about and describe at least two places in a city. So you remember all the places that you have named, that you have mentioned. We are going to ask and answer questions about these places. Okay. And the final one, our complementary lesson objective, is we should be able to write at least four, compara four sentences using comparative adjectives mm. to describe places correctly. So there will be a writing activity as well later on. Alright, uh, so pupils at home, you heard uh, what Miss Ching said, there will be a writing activity, so be sure to prepare your stationery and your notebooks for the, today's class. But teacher, can we give them some time to prepare these materials while we take a short break, is that okay? Yes, sure. Okay, so for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here for Tahap Dua, Bahasa Inggris Exploring City. See you after this. Hello everyone, you are watching Tahap Dua on Didiet TV KPM. My name is Chris, it's nice to meet you. And for today's uh, subject, we are learning Bahasa Inggris and the topic is Exploring Cities. And for today's class, I have with me Miss Ching from SK Putrajaya Prisin 81 and also some friends on Google Meets from teacher's class as well. Hi! Okay. But hold on, before we proceed with today's lesson, teacher, I want to ask my friends watching at home and also on Google Meets if they are ready. So if you are all ready for today's lesson with Miss Ching, give me a double thumbs up. Okay, Yay. nice. Okay, Miss Ching, over to you. Thank you, Chris. Okay, now pupils, remember earlier we talked about adjectives. So what are 
adjectives. When I entered, I talked about the street being a busy place or being a noisy place. So actually, adjectives are words that we use to describe a certain place. We can also use adjectives to describe people and things. But today, we'll focus on place. Okay? So adjectives give you more details about the place. So what kind of place is it? Let's look at some examples. So for those who are watching at home, if you have your English plus one, you can look at page 16 together with me. Okay, okay so the first adjective that we have here is clean. Clean means there is no rubbish, there's no dirt. Mm. So the opposite of clean, not clean, would be who wants dirty. To try it? Oh, okay. Right. Okay, but I want to ask them to try to think of their school ah. and tell me, do you think your school is a clean or a dirty place? Ah. Okay, secret is out. Harisha, <laughs> what do you think? How would you describe your school? In my opinion, uh, I think my school is a clean place because there is a cleaner to do cleaning every day. Wow. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you Harisha. <laughs> you have a cleaner at school, but mm. all of us also have this equal responsibility to keep our school clean, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, good answer, but thank God. Now we know that our school is clean. <laughs> okay, so the next adjective is... Oops, sorry. The next adjective is noisy. Noisy means there are loud noises, so the opposite of noisy will be quiet. Okay, I'm sure Leila knows a lot of quiet places, so I'm going to ask her, Leila, do you think our school is a noisy or a quiet place? I think my school uh, depends on how many people come. But I think it's noisy, especially at recess. <laughs> okay, good answer, Leila. It's noisy when it's recess time. Yeah. But sometimes when you're in the classroom, it's a bit quiet because you listen to the teacher, right? <laughs> okay, it good should to be know. quiet, teacher. You have to pay attention to the class, correct? Yes, yes. good to know, good to okay. know. So we also have the adjective ugly. Ugly means something that is not so nice to look at, but there can be many um, opposite words of ugly. Ugly in the textbook, the opposite is pretty, but there can be other words. Do you know what are some other words? Maybe I ask. Okay, um, anyone wants to tell me? Lucas, you raised the hand. You want to tell me some are other words? Um, beautiful. Beautiful, very good. Anyone has any other opposite words for ugly? Yes, Leila, go ahead. Uh, maybe gorgeous. 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 Okay, very good. Thank you. So, Lucas gave yeah. the opposite beautiful. You can say a place is beautiful, right? You can also say a person is gorgeous. Ah, so, those are the opposite of ugly. Okay, very good. Next, we have dangerous. Dangerous means it can be harmful. There is a certain danger, you shouldn't go there. And the opposite would be safe. What are some um, dangerous places? Okay, Amni has already raised the hand. She's excited. What are some dangerous places, Amni? I think Highway Pitch Station, construction site and theme park can be dangerous places, especially for kids. Mm. Oh wow, good examples. So construction sites are dangerous. We shouldn't go there, right? And theme parks can be dangerous without adult supervision. Yes. High voltage stations like in this picture? Good answer, Amni. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have friendly. Friendly is used to describe um, people in a place, right? So the opposite would be unfriendly. We can say um, someone is unfriendly when they don't want to talk to you, right? Chris is a very friendly host. Am I? Am I friendly? Right? Do you agree? Do you, do you think I'm friendly? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Thumbs up. I, I have a question for my friends on Google Meet. Yes. Is Miss Ching friendly? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Double thumbs up. <laughs> okay. okay. So, let me ask Harisha. Would you say your neighbourhood, the place where you stay, is that a friendly place? Yes. My neighbourhood is very friendly. We always respect and help each other. Wow. Okay, that's good. You want to live in a friendly neighborhood, right? You talk to each other, you help one another. Yes. Very good. And the last one is modern. We say a place is modern when uh, we look at the building and it's new. 
and for example, KLCC is a modern place, right? Yes. And the opposite of modern would be old. What are some old places that you know of, Lucas? Do you know any? Melaka Town. Okay, mm. good answer. Historic city. Yes, Malacca is known for its history. There are many old buildings, yeah. historical buildings. Well done. So now, based on all of these adjectives, clean, dirty, noisy, quiet, ugly, pretty, and so on, I want you to use these adjectives and think for me, which of these are suitable to describe a hotel? Okay. okay, if you have been to a hotel, you would know. Now you think and see, what adjectives can you use to describe a hotel? Anyone? Amni, how about you go? For me, hotel is a clean place, not dirty. It is pretty, not ugly. And the staff is friendly. Okay, good answer. It is clean. Most of the time, hotel is clean, right? If it's dirty, you don't want to go. And the staff is friendly. They welcome you when you come, right? Good answer. Okay, how about one more? Can someone tell me, um, give me more adjectives to describe this? Okay, Leila, how about you? Uh, in my opinion, I think... Oh, looks like there's the a bit of a technical. The hotel is pretty um, moderate and... Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay, can you hear us, Leila? Yeah, I can hear you. Do you want to repeat your answer? Yeah, I would like to repeat my answer. Good. In my opinion, I think it's pretty uh, modern and it's quiet and they're safe because uh, I've been to other hotels and I've seen security guards around the hotel. Okay, wow. good. Most hotels are probably modern. They are safe because they are security guards, according yes. to her. So, so, so teacher, Amni and Leila, do they get stars for this? Because they course. answered correct adjectives? Yes. How many stars do you think they deserve? What do you think, teacher? I think five stars? All for... the stars. Five oh, stars for stars. both nice. of them. Congrats. Well done for a good answer. Okay, I'm, since Amni and Leila has answered, okay. I'm going to ask Harisha and Lucas for the next one. Okay, before that, before that. So we can say the hotel is clean. Other adjectives that we can use, we can say it's expensive. We have to pay when we go to a hotel, right? Yes. We can also say it's comfortable. You go to a hotel, you relax. So you can say it's comfortable. Okay, next one. How about the park? Okay, have you seen a park before? If you have been to one, what are some adjectives that you can use to describe a park? Um, how about... Harisha, you want to tell me some adjectives? Mm, the park is very fun. It's mostly used for activities like walking, cycling and playing. It's so fun. Okay, good answer. So I catch your adjective, you say it's fun. Mm. Very good, it's a fun place, an exciting place. Lucas, what about you? What do you think you can, what words can you use? I think the park is hot. And yeah, hot. 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 Okay, yes. very good. Most of the time you go to the park in the morning or the afternoon, right? It's hot. Yeah. So do Lucas and Harisha get stars, teacher? Yes, five stars as well for both of them. Congrats. Give yourself well a round done, of Well done, Lucas and Harisha. Okay, so let's look at the adjectives. We have hot. Sometimes when there's a lot of people, it can be noisy. Or we can say crowded. Mm. Crowded means there's so many people. Okay, so it's crowded. Now, based on all of these adjectives that we have learned, can I give you a very simple test? Oh, what test? Yeah, that? so we are going to have a very quick activity. So before the lesson, I actually gave you all a secret location. <gasps> okay, that none of us know except for yourself. Okay. Chris has one too. So what we are going to do is, we are going to ask each other questions using the adjectives only. Okay. Okay, and you will have to tell me your adjective so that we can guess where is the place okay. or where are you at. So okay. there are 20 locations here. For example, we have the school, the supermarket, the theatre, office building, shops, bank. Hospital, cafe. Okay, so those of you who are watching at home, you join us as well. Okay, oh, yeah. you listen to our questions and answer. You can make a guess. Yeah. 
So I won't show you the answer first. Yeah, okay. don't show, Chris. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to try to ask you some questions. All right. Hmm. Is your place a crowded place? Yes. Okay, it's crowded. Um, is it a hot place? No, it's cold. It's cold. Okay. Um, is it noisy? Uh, it, no. Yes, yes, it's noisy. There is. There, is, there are noise there. There's, there's noise, there's okay. There's noise, yeah. Um, is it... Are you at the... Are you at the restaurant? Nope, that's okay. not the right place. Um, okay, is it a dark place? Yes, it's a dark place. Do you know where is Chris at? Um, I think I can guess. Yeah, so what is the answer? <laughs> okay, oh. some of the friends okay. want to guess. Lucas, take a guess. Where is Chris at? I think Mr. Chris is at the supermarket. I mean, theater. Theater! <laughs> ding, ding, nice? ding! <laughs> correct, correct. Oh, wow. Mr. Chris is at the theater. His place is noisy. Yep. It is um, dark and it's crowded. Okay, so you got it right. Well done, All right. children. Okay, okay, so now let's let's go to them. Yep. Okay, you are going to do this activity next. How about we start with um, Leila? Can okay. we start with you? Okay, so Leila, open your secret location from your envelope. Don't show your friends. And the rest of us, we can ask questions. If you want to ask a question, just raise your hand. Okay? okay. Let's go. Anyone? Lucas. Is it hot there? Yes, it is hot there. <laughs> it's hot. Okay, Amni. Is it beautiful? Uh, yes, I've been to a really, re really nice one uh, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. So it's beautiful. It's hot. Harisha. Is the place big? Uh, yes, it can be big. It's big. Okay. Amni. Is it comfortable? Yeah, it's big. Uh, no, you don't want to stay here for long hours. It's not a comfortable mm. place. You don't want to stay, stay there for, for long. long. Okay. Pupils at home, you can try as well. Try to guess what is Leila's mm. secret location. Okay. okay. Lucas, go, go Lucas. ahead. Is that place safe? Uh, yes, it is safe. It's safe. Okay, <laughs> Amini. Is it dangerous? Yes, it can. Yes, it is dangerous. It can be dangerous. It's safe, but it also can be dangerous. Wow, this hmm. is tough. Okay, Harisha, one last question. Is the place crowded? Hmm? Is it crowded? Yes, it can be crowded, especially on school holidays. Especially oh. on school holidays. Oops, that's, that's your a, clue. That's yes, clue. Amni? Are you at the train station? Yes. Oh wow. oh wow! You are at the train station. Well done well to done, all of everyone. you. Well done, everyone. Good questions. Who we guessed have, it earlier? Um, Amni? Amni guessed it. So Amni but gets... they all asked questions. Yeah. So everyone gets? Everyone gets five stars. Yay! Good well job done. to all of you. I think we have time for one more. Yes, Can teacher. we do one more? I, I, I would like to do one more. Okay, yeah. since Amni let's won the round, okay. let's let Amni, let everyone ask Amni this time. Okay. okay? Amni, you can take out your secret, secret location. location. Only you know. The rest won't know, okay? Okay, so the rest of you, you can take turns to ask questions. Okay. Anyone? Lucas. Is, that, is the place hot? Yes, it's hot. Okay. It's hot, it's hot. okay. Leila? Uh, is the place tall? No, is it a it's not tall, tall building? It's not tall. It's not a tall building. Hmm. Okay. Next. Harisha? Is it noisy? Yes, it's a very noisy place. Okay, oh, so it's wow. hot, it's very noisy, and it's not a tall building. I think I know, but let's go for more questions. Okay, anyone else wants to guess? You want to guess or you want to ask a question? Yeah. Lucas? Is it comfortable there? No, it's not comfortable. Okay. It's not comfortable. Okay. All right. Mm, anyone else has a question? Like? Yes, Harisha. Is it crowded there? Yes, it's crowded and there are many children. 
It's crowded okay, with a lot like of Layla children. Has an okay, like Layla. Layla has an <laughs> I think you're at the fun fair. Are yeah, you at the fun fair? Like... Yeah. Oh, well done. Well you done, are everyone. at the fun fair. So it's crowded with a yeah. lot of children. It's noisy. It's hot. Yeah. Okay. Good job, everyone. Uh, so I think teacher is going to give all of you. Five stars. Five stars. And even for those pupils watching at home who were guessing, you deserve five stars as well. Well, teacher, uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm sure my friends watching at home are also having a lot of fun. But how about we take a short break? Is that okay, teacher? Cool. Okay, so for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here for Tahap Dua Bahasa Inggris Exploring Cities. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Tahap Dua here on Dide TV KPM and today we are learning Bahasa Inggris together with Miss Ching on the topic of exploring cities. Now I am here with some friends on Google Meets as well. Hi! Hi friends! Alright, Miss Ching, what are we going to do next? Okay, good question. So we already know what are adjectives, right? Okay. Adjectives are words that we use to describe a uh, a people, a place or a thing, a person, a place or a thing, right? So what about comparative adjectives? What mm. are they? When we want to compare two places, just now we use adjectives to describe one place, right? But if we want to compare two places, let me give you an example. So let's say we want to compare a cafe and a coffee shop. I'm sure all of you know this place. A cafe, you probably have been to one. A coffee shop, you will definitely know. It's right around the corner, right? Yes. Okay, so what if we want to compare two places? Then we will have to use comparative adjectives. We will have to modify the adjective a little bit, change it a little bit. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's say an adjective ends with the letter E. Like safe, large and simple. So when we compare, we can add R and the word then. So we can say safer than, larger than, or simpler than. Okay, let me give you an example. In a sentence, when we make a sentence, for example, we are using the adjective nice, right? So when we make a sentence, we can say the cafe is nicer than the coffee shop. Okay, what about adjectives that do not end with an E? Adjectives for like um, tall, clean and bright. So for adjectives that do not end with an E, we add ER and the word THEN. So tall becomes taller than, clean becomes cleaner than, bright becomes brighter than. Okay, so something is um, more, has the quality of being more, like more tall, right? So we say taller than. In a sentence, let's say um, cold. Let's say cold, right? Cold is an adjective. So how do we make a sentence to compare the cafe and the coffee shop? Can I ask one of you to make a sentence for me? Lucas, how about you? The cafe is colder than the coffee shop. The cafe is colder than the coffee shop. Very good. Well done, Lucas. So we can say colder than. That is the comparative adjective. So Lucas gets? Five stars. Five stars. Well done, Lucas. Okay, how about adjectives that end with the letter Y? Earlier, we learned friendly, okay. right? We also learned dirty or busy, like a busy street. So for adjectives that end with a Y, we replace the Y and change it to an I-E-R. So for example, friendly, we can say friendlier than, dirtier than, or busier than. Pay attention to the spelling, okay? So in a sentence, let's use the adjective noisy. Noisy to, uh, to compare the cafe and the coffee shop. Maybe I can have Harisha. Can you make a sentence for me? Yes. The coffee shop is noisier than the cafe. 
Okay, very good. The coffee shop is noisier than the cafe. How about... Well done, Harisha. You get five stars too. Yes, well done. <laughs> okay. okay. How about... Um, okay, that's your answer. For adjectives that have a vowel and a consonant. A vowels are letters that are A-E-I-O-U, right? Okay. So, for example, hot, thin and flat. They all end with a vowel and a consonant. So, for adjectives like this, we double the consonant at the back so it becomes hotter than, thinner than, flatter than. So, a double T and a double N. Okay, pay attention to the spelling. Let me give you another example when we want to use the adjective big, right? To compare the cafe and the coffee shop. Um, can you make a sentence for me? How about Amni? Okay, go ahead. The coffee shop is bigger than the cafe. Okay, very good Amni. As you can see in the picture here, the coffee shop is bigger than the cafe. So a double G, right? Five stars for Amni. Yay, well done Amni. Okay, last one. Um, for some adjectives, some special adjectives that are two or more than two syllables, like three syllable adjectives, we use the word more than the adjective and the word then. So, more ancient than, more popular than, or more beautiful than. We don't say beautifuler than, right? Mm, so, yes. we say more beautiful than. So, in a sentence, um, for example, expensive. Which one do you have to pay for more? You have to pay more money when you go to the cafe, uh, the cafe or the coffee shop. Maybe, okay, Leila, since you raised the hand. The cafe is more expensive than the coffee shop. Yes, the cafe is more expensive than the coffee shop. Right? Very good. Well done, Leila. Five stars for you. Well done, Leila. Okay, how about this one? If you have adjectives that um, that changes entirely for example good bad and far can we say um, the cafe is gooder than yeah can we say that teacher it doesn't sound right it doesn't sound right yeah. so the whole word has to change can we say more good than mm, still doesn't sound right still doesn't sound right so we change the whole word instead of good we say better than Instead of bad, we say worse than. And instead of far, we say further than. Okay. Okay, so for example, would you prefer the cafe or the coffee shop? Which do you like? The cafe. The cafe. Okay, so you can say the cafe is better than the coffee shop for you, right? Lucas, you raised your hand. You want to say something? I think the coffee shop is better. Oh, the coffee shop is better for you because it has your favourite food. <laughs> is it? Okay, well done to all four of you. So now, we can play a game. A game? Yes. What game are we playing, teacher? For this game, it's called Monopoly. I'm sure you have played it before. Okay. But it's our version. So, on, on that side, Chris is going to help me. Okay. I have the names of cities on the board. I want you to choose any city and behind that city, you actually have a number. So based on the number, you are going to move on the board and you will see words on each plot. So when you land on a plot, you will have to write a sentence. So I'm sure you already have your writing utensils, a marker pen or a mini whiteboard or a piece of paper. Okay, so viewers at home, you can join us as well. All right. All right, so make a sentence using the comparative adjective only. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, so let's start with, since Lucas Spin is here, we are going to go with Lucas. Okay, Lucas, can you choose for me a city? Can you choose one for me? Which one do you want? Kuching, my hometown. Kuching. Kuching, your hometown. Okay, let's have a look. What number is that, Chris? Okay, and Kuching is... Four. Four. Okay, so Lucas is going to move four plots. You are now here, Lucas. Okay, so your letter is night markets, noisy, and supermarkets. So can you make a sentence for me using these words? Okay. Night markets, 
noisy supermarkets. Okay, so everyone writes the sentence or only Lucas? Lucas. Okay. Yes, but those who are watching at home, you can do it as well. All right. So we'll check our answer together. Okay. So the adjective is noisy and the two places we are comparing is night markets and supermarkets. Yes, that's right. Okay, so Lucas, what is your sentence? All right. Okay, looks like he's writing his sentence and he's done with it. Can we have a look? Night markets are noisier than the supermarkets. Okay, we can see your answer, Lucas. Well done. Five stars for Lucas. Yay. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go with Harisha next. Harisha, can you choose for me a city that you can see on the board? Anyone? I would like to choose the Georgetown. Georgetown. Georgetown, okay. Okay. And the number for Georgetown is one. One, okay. So, Harisha, your word is hospital, bright, and theatre. Can you make a sentence for me? Hospital, bright, and theatre. All right. And pupils watching at home, you can try it as well. So, the adjective is bright. The two places we are comparing is hospital and theatre. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, while... While we wait for Harisha's answer, why don't we get another a, a yes. pupil to choose their choose. place first? Yeah. Um, let's see. Maybe Amni. Okay. So Amni, what place would you like to select? I choose my hometown, Ipoh Pera. Ipoh, Ipoh, your hometown. Okay. <laughs> okay. So for Ipoh, it's six. Number six. Number okay. six. Number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get to choose one more. It's roll again. A okay. lucky square. So roll again. So one more. Choose one more place. Yes. Choose okay. one more. Kota Kinabalu. Kota Kinabalu. Where is Kota Kinabalu? Okay, over here. Kota Kinabalu is one. One. Okay. So this is Amni's sentence. You are here now, Amni. Birch Khalifa Tall KLCC. We'll give you some time to write your answer. We'll go back to Harisha first. Okay. So Harisha, okay. what's your sentence? <laughs> Oh. The hospital is brighter compared to the theatre. Okay, very good. That is one way you can write it. The hospital is brighter compared to the theatre. Or you can also say the hospital is brighter than, than the theatre. The okay. theatre. Okay, very good. Five well stars for Harisha. Okay, so is Amni ready? Yes. With your answer? Okay, let's go to Amni's answer. Alright, so Amni, can you tell us what is your answer? Birch Khalifa is taller than KLCC. Okay, very good. Birch Khalifa is taller than KLCC. Correct use of the adjective there. Five stars for Amni. Yay! Well done. Who's leading so far, teacher? Um, Who's... looks like Amni is leading. Amni is leading but Leila so has not gone yet. Yes. So okay. Leila. Leila, your place? turn. Choose for me a spot. Um. Uh, I picked uh, Johor Bahru, the jo yellow one on the bottom. Johor Bahru, okay. And Johor Bahru is five. <laughs> the yellow one on the bottom. Yep, yeah. five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so Leila is here. All right. So and Leila's the... word is Penang Bridge, Long, London Bridge. Oh, this is tough. Can you make a sentence for me, Leila? Okay. I'm actually not sure, did you? Is Penang Bridge longer than... I, I, I don't know. But we'll find out, we'll find out. Okay, I will let you know. <laughs> okay, so let's give some time to Leila to write her sentence. And for our friends watching at home, you can try it for yourself. The adjective is long. And the two places we are comparing is Penang Bridge and London Bridge. Yes. So write the sentence to compare. So Leila, are you ready to show your sentence? And let's see if Leila gets her five stars. All right. Okay. So Leila's answer is Penang Bridge is longer than London Bridge. Very good. Penang Bridge is longer than London Bridge. Five stars for you, Leila. 
for those of you who are watching and you don't know how long is London Bridge, okay, let me tell you. Yeah. So, London Bridge is actually 269 meters long, whereas the Penang Bridge is 13,500 meters long. Wow, Leila, okay. can you show your answer again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the Penang Bridge is longer, longer than, than the London Bridge. The London Bridge. Okay, so who is leading? Looks like Amni is still leading. Do we okay. have time for one more round? Okay, so which place would you like to pick? Choose a city, Lucas. Uh, I'll take the lime green one at the bottom. The lime green one at the bottom, Melaka. Malacca, ooh, okay. the historical city. What number is that, Chris? The number is six. Six, okay. Ooh, wow, so that's Lucas a big moves jump. six. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six. Six. Okay, Lucas, you're now at the fun fair. Your adjective is exciting, and you're going to compare it to the park. Fun fair, exciting, park. Can you make a sentence for me using the comparative adjective? Now, don't forget for pupils at home, you can try this activity as well. We can all play and have fun together. So, you can also come up with your sentence together with Lucas. And the word is funfair, park, and the adjective is? Exciting. Exciting. So, Lucas, what is your sentence? Funfairs are more exciting than parks. Okay, very good. Well done, Lucas. Fun fairs are more exciting than parks. So we use more and we use the word then. Good okay. job. Good job. So Lucas gets how many stars? Teacher? Five stars. Five stars. Very nice. Okay, okay. so who's next? Next will be Harisha. Harisha. Okay. Choose one, Harisha. Which would you like? Oh, Harisha, you Harisha, haven't unmuted you're muted. your mic. Yes. Maybe you want to the unmute? The purple one on the top. The purple well, one on the top. Kuala Terengganu, oh, okay. And the uh, number is two. Number two, oh, you're safe. Oh, you're safe. Did you so, say purple or red? Um, she says Kuala Terengganu. Oh, okay, yeah. Kuala Terengganu, so okay. She's so safe. You're here. Means she doesn't have to write a sentence? Yes, you don't have to write a sentence. Wow, you you're are safe. safe. <laughs> okay, okay next. well done, Harisha. Well done. Okay, next. Maybe we can have. Um, who's next? Leila, right? Is it Leila? I think it's Amni. Amni. Yes, Amni first. Amni first Amni. Yeah. Right. Okay, go ahead, Amni. Uh, I chose Shah Alam. Shah Alam. Okay, the brown one. Alright. Five. Five. Okay. Oh, wow, that's a so, big jump. Amni moves five. One, one two, two, three, three four, four five. five. Danger! Reverse one. Oh, okay, oh. you're okay. here. So you are comparing the airport and the train station. Your adjective is big. Okay, compare the airport and the train station using the word big. Alright, so while waiting for Amni's answer, Leila, would you like to pick your city? Oh, Leila, you're still muted. It's okay. Sorry. It happens. <laughs> All right. Uh, I would like... Uh, can you go down, please? The okay, camera? can. Which uh, one? The purple one on the bottom. That's Alo my star. second favourite colour. Your second favourite? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Alo star. So she's speaking not, not on... Uh, not city. based she's, on the city, based on the, the colour. <laughs> so the, uh, the, the number is four. Okay, so Leila moves four. One, two, three, four. Advance four steps. You're taking the... Oh, wow! Express train. One, two, three, four. So you're here now. You're comparing Pataling Street and Jonker Street. Your adjective is crowded. Oh, okay, wow. Petaling Street and Jonker Street use the adjective crowded. Okay, okay so maybe we go back to Amni first. Yes. What's your sentence, Amni? The airport is bigger than the train station. Okay, very good. If you notice, Amni did a double G because it's a vowel and a consonant. So the airport is bigger than the train station. Well done. Five stars for Amni. Yay! Okay, let's go to Layla. Congra Back to congratulations, Layla. Amni. Okay. Oh, okay, no. okay. All right. So, what's your sentence? Read it out. Uh, the Petaling Street is more crowded than Jonker Street. 
Okay, can I see your sentence again, Leila? Petaling Street Sorry. is more. Ah, okay. Don't worry. It's more crowded than Jonker Street. So now, if you notice, Leila wrote then T H E N. When we compare, we actually write T H A N. -N. Yeah, okay. so it's more crowded than uh, Jonker Street, but still a good one. Well done, uh, Leila. Good job. Okay, so five stars for Leila as well. Five stars for Leila. Yay! Let's give a round of applause to all our friends who played with us and also our friends on Google Meets. Great job, everyone. Teacher, yes. let's see who's the winner. And the winner is... Looks like Leila is in front now. Leila! Yay! Congratulations, Leila. All Good right, teacher, job, how about everyone. we take a short break? Is that all right? Sure. Okay, for those friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for today's English lesson on exploring cities only on d TV KPM. everyone, you are watching Tahap Duo on Didet TV KPM with me Chris MJ as your host and today we are learning Bahasa Inggris on the topic of exploring cities and I'm here with Miss Ching from SK Putrajaya Precinct 8 1 as well as my friends from the same school. Hi everyone! Yes, they are my classmates for today. Now, <laughs> teacher, um, for this segment we'll be focusing on Adjectives in daily use. So, Miss Ching, what are we doing for this segment? Okay, very good. So, all of you, we have already did um, practice, right? We have already used adjectives and comparative adjectives. But these adjectives are words that we can use every day. We can use adjectives to talk about something that we like or we dislike, right? So, how do we use these adjectives to talk about something that we like? Let me give you an example. Um, let me tell you about a place that I like to visit. So I like to go shopping at IOI City Mall because it is big, so that's an adjective, um, because the things there are not too expensive, it is cheaper than some other malls, um, and it is nearer to my house. Ah. Ah, so these are adjectives. So you see, I'm using adjectives to tell you about the place that I like. So now, I want you to think about a place that you like. Okay, mm. what about a place that you like and what are some adjectives that you can use to tell me why you like that place? Teacher, Chris, so, you have one? so earlier when you mm. described your favourite mall, mm -hmm. the adjectives you used were big. Big. And um, you also used it's nearer. It's cheaper, yeah. Cheaper nearer and nearer. And cheaper, yeah. Some of the things that are cheaper than other malls, other malls I've been to. Okay, so you were comparing other places yes. as well. Yes. Okay. Um, how about we ask some of our friends? Sure. Okay. Anyone, can you think of your favourite place? Yes, Amni. I like to go to supermarket because it is more comfortable than mart. There are also more things that I can buy, but of course, more expensive. Mm. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, Amni. So, I catch a few adjectives that she used. She said the supermarket is more comfortable because there's aircon, right? There's air conditioning and there are more things to buy. Um, but it's also a bit more expensive. Yes. Than much, right? Yes. Okay. So did did she do do a good job? Yes, did she, get stars? she did a good well, a good job. Well done. So five stars for you, Amni. Yay! Good job. I like how our friends are also supporting yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. How about um someone else? Anyone would like to try to give me one, uh, a few sentences about a place that you like? Anyone okay. want to try? Do I see anyone raising a hand? Have you thought of one? Harisha, you want to say something? Okay, you have to unmute first. I like to go to my favourite restaurant, Nippon Sushi. The food is very delicious and the environment is good. The restaurant is modern because they use robots to serve the food. Oh wow, I didn't know that! 
Wow. Looks like a place that I'm going to visit after this. Yes, Harisha, I have to tell you, you just made me very hungry because yes. she used the word very delicious. Yes, Harisha said the food is very delicious. So delicious is an adjective and she said the environment is good. Mm. Uh, it's probably nice, right? Yes. And it's also modern because they use robots to serve food nowadays. Yes, and so how many stars uh, does Harisha get? Five stars. Five stars. Yay. Well done, everyone. Let's give a round Yay. of applause. Now, teacher, maybe you can share with us how did our students do or pupils do today uh, on Google Meets and as well as those watching at home. Maybe you can share with us. I think all of them did very well. They are able to use adjectives in um, asking questions, answering questions, even talking about their favourite places. Mm. And they are also able to make sentences to compare two places. So very well done all of you. I would definitely give you 10 stars. What? Not 5? 10, ten stars? Yes. yes! Everyone gets 10 stars. Do I get 10 stars, teacher? Yes, very well okay, done to I you Okay, I get 10 well. stars as well. And uh, before that, teacher, maybe you can also share where can our friends watching at home as well as on Google Meet find resources or worksheets on today's topic, Exploring Cities. So if you want uh, materials on today's lesson, you can visit Sumbercoop at the link given. Okay, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, I mean my friends at home, uh, I just want to say thank you to Miss Ching for today's class. And did my friends watching at home and on Google Meets have a good time today? Give me a thumbs up. Yes, amazing. And thank you for being amazing classmates for me. And with that, we will see you again here on DDAT TV KPM. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye.